Okay, suppose uh, you have a relation. Now, now we'll, we'll talk some a bit more about relation. So, so you have set A, set B. Okay, let's look at the relation in, in, in a family. Okay, let's take a very common example. The B is son of A. B's are all B's are in, in you know, set, set uh, B and set A is the set of all fathers. So, in the set of all fathers, you, you will have your father, grandfather, grand grandfather. Okay, so with this relationship, you will have in the set B, you will have you. You will have your father and grandfather. You know, you you are related to your father. Your father related to your grandfather. Your grandfather related to grand grandfather. Okay, okay, the great grandfather. So that's a sort of a relation. Okay, so the set A is essentially the input set. Okay, the father set, and then comes the son. Okay, the set of the output. So input and output. This is what is a relation. So, a relation will have a domain. Domain will be the set of all inputs. And output, the output would be the range. The range set is the output set. So, essentially, we will be talking about these two sets in this video. So, what is domain set? You have a relation R. Okay, R is the relation. From set A to B, from set A to B, then then the set of all first components or the coordinates of the ordered pairs belonging to R, the set of all first components, okay, first components, so all the small is, okay, all the small is, so the first component A, okay, or you can say coordinate coordinates of the ordered pair coordinates of the order pair belonging to r belonging to r or all the coordinates of the ordered pair belonging to r is said to be the domain of the relation r that's what is the domain of the relation r so essentially domain of r equals to the set of all a's is the set of all A such that A, B, the ordered pair A, B belongs to R. Okay, so this is the set of all A's. This is the set of all A's. Let me just write it for you in the set notation. So all A's such that A, comma B, the ordered pair belongs to R. So what you can clearly see is that the domain of R will be the subset of the set A. The domain of R will be the subset of the set A. Now, let's take an example. Let's take an example of A being 1, 3, 5, 7 and B being 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. And let's define a relation R which contains the ordered pairs as I'm writing. So, 1, 8, 3, 6, 5, 2, 1, 4. Okay, so this is a relation from A to B. Okay, some relation from A to B. Then what is the domain? The domain is... The domain is all the A's in this in these ordered pairs. So 1, 3, 5, 1. So that means 1, 3, 5. That's it, right? So 1, 3, 5. So domain is domain of the relation R is 1, 3, 5 and not 7. So you can clearly see that it is the subset of the set A. Okay. So, all the A's of A, comma B is the domain. So, 1, 3, 5. Now, let's talk about the range. Now, as I said, range... 
range essentially would be all the b's or the output all the b's from the set b or the output the output of the relation the output of the relation is all b's right so that's what is the range that's what is the range so domain is a subset of a similarly range is the subset of b So range R in this example would be 8, 6, 2, 4. 8, 6, 2, 4. That's what is the range of this relation. Now another concept, another very interesting concept. Uh, many a times you see written that there is a relation on a set. Okay, A relation on a set. When you're talking about a relation on a set, that actually means that you're talking about some set A which is a non-void or a non-empty set. Okay. And the relation from A to itself. Okay. From A to itself. Okay. That is what is known as the relation on a set. When it's just written that if there is a relation R on a set that means A has a relation with itself. That is that is it has a relation to itself from a to itself okay that is r is the subset of a cross a so this time our r will be the subset of a cross a that's what is called you know the relation on a set so r will be the subset of a cross a Okay. Another interesting concept is is uh, of the inverse inverse of a relation. Inverse of a relation. See, see. In case you're looking at two sets A and B, so if the elements, okay, all the small letter A's are related to small letter B's, that means even B is related to A, right? So R inverse. Essentially, when you talk, when you come from B to A, it is R inverse. So, in case there is a relation between the set A, elements of set A, to the set B, elements of set B, then of course, the elements of set B have a certain relationship with the elements of set A. So, R inverse essentially becomes the subset of the Cartesian product B cross A. Okay, remember what we did the Cartesian product B cross A. Okay, the order changes. Okay, the ordered pair. In the ordered pair, the order changes. So B comma A is is the is the set which will denote R inverse, the inverse of the relation. Now just try to understand with this diagram. Domain of R will be the range of R inverse and range of R, range of R which was B, a subset of B will be the domain of R inverse. Okay, so that is the kind of relationship that R and R inverse will have. So, relation A to B and B to A. 